Well, it's the news that many have been waiting for. Trevor Reed has finally made it back to Texas after being held in a Russian prison for nearly three years. This just happened in the last couple of hours. Let's get to our Kennedy Walker. She's been tracking this story. And Kennedy, this is something that must be feeling such a sense of relief over. Hey, yes, it is, Ken. It was nearly 1,000 days Trevor was behind bars in Russia, and this morning we were finally able to see him arrive in Texas. Here's a video of the plane landing at Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio. And today, soon after the photos were released, you can see Reed here with his family. We're working to learn where he's headed to next. The former Marine was released due to a prisoner exchange with Russia. The United States agreed to send a Russian drug trafficker serving time in an American prison back to Russia in exchange for Reed. He had been detained since 2019. He was visiting his girlfriend when he was arrested and sentenced to nine years in prison for assaulting a police officer. However, his parents, who live in Granbury, deny those claims, saying surveillance video and witnesses prove the accusation was false. The Reed family praised President Biden, saying they truly believe he saved their son's life. We've said for yeah. a year, any of you who followed us, that we believe if we can just get to the boss, if we can get to the top man in our government, the executive, that we can make this thing happen. But he says, I, I want to have your family, you know, come to see me in the White House, and, and I'm so glad that, that we, you know, we're able to get him out of there, and, and we told him. We, we told him we were know. thankful and we grateful, and that when we saw him, obviously, we were going to give him a couple of big hugs. Reed isn't the only American that claims to be wrongfully detained in Russia. Former WNBA star and Texas native Brittany Griner and former Marine Paul Whelan um, are there in Russia right now being detained. Reed's mother, Paula, took to Twitter this morning saying in part, it's her sincerest hope that the president can make a few more difficult decisions to bring other American hostages and detainees home to their families soon. And all these families should feel this joy and the relief of knowing their loved ones are safe again. Back to you, Ken. Yeah, like you said, a reunion that so many people have been wanting to see. Kennedy, thank you very much.